In Poland, U.S. President Joe Biden has delivered a fiery speech on the war in Ukraine, denouncing Russian President Vladimir Putin. Biden said the West was more united than ever in the face of Putin's aggression, but warned the world to prepare for a long battle. Just over a month into Russia's invasion, he stressed the United States' continued support for Ukraine. After calling Putin a dictator, a war criminal, and a butcher in recent days, Biden used his speech to, in, in Walsar to take direct aim at Putin in a different way, the U.S. president's closing remarks. And Putin has the audacity, like all our autocrats before him, to believe that might will make right. Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia, for free people refused to live in a world of hopelessness and darkness. We will have a different future, a brighter future, rooted in democracy and principle, hope and light, of decency and dignity, of freedom and possibilities. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. I think we should be factual and, first of all, do everything so that the situation doesn't get out of control. I wouldn't use those terms because I continue to speak to President Putin, because what we do, we want to do collectively. We want to stop the war that Russia launched in Ukraine, without waging war and without escalation. Hello and welcome to BBC News. The US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, has denied the White House has a policy of regime change in Russia. It follows President Biden's speech on Saturday, in which he said of President Putin, for God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. Well, Mr Blinken, who's in Israel for an historic two-day summit, said that that it's for the Russian people to decide. Meanwhile, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has repeated his calls for more weapons and military support from the West. Що загроза є надзвичайно серйозною. 